everyone. Welcome to Garden Yarns. My name is Christine. This is where we talk about knitting, crochet, and anything yarn related. Today is Friday, October 8th, so yay, we made it to Friday. Today I have some whips, not really any finished objects, and some shopping. I got two orders in, one from Michaels and one from Hobby. And then, of course, I did my usual shopping, so let's get started, shall we? I am making progress on my blanket. I worked mostly on this. Let's start over here. So it's coming along quite nicely. And this is where I'm using all acrylic number four worsted weight yarn and three different shades of purple and white. I'm doing three rows of purples and then two rows of whites. And I'm using my usual 2.5 or sorry, 5.5 millimeter hook tulip hook. So yeah, that's coming along nicely. So I should be done, I'm thinking, at least another week, maybe two. Because I'm thinking of doing, although my edges turned out pretty good, like, fully, I might do a few rounds of single crochet, alternating the colors that were used in the blanket. And then I did start another project. I'm doing the Crochet Lovey from Zelda NRJ3. Uh, it was recommended a pattern, Rose from Rose Likes Crochet recommended. Hi Rose. And i just getting started here. Uh, first time using Craft Smart by uh, Michaels. Uh, this is a number four weight and this color is ice blue. I have a Dumbo that I'll be showing later and I thought this was a good batch color-wise. So that started. I did finish the second strap for my one tote bag. So I'll be finishing up that later this evening to see if I can find it. a moment. Sorry for the wrestling. Uh, the strap is for this bag here. I forget what color weight it is, so I'll try to remember to put it down in the description box down below. So very pretty color. My other handles in there. So yeah, I'll be able to finish that later. I'll be doing a pocket for this one too, and maybe the coin purse as well. So that's started. We're almost finished. I haven't touched my anniversary cake blanket. Been mostly working on the purple blanket, the tote bag. And I think that, oh, I did do a few squares. Not many, but a few. I did two purple. And one of the vibrant uh, squares. So that's all I did of that. And then for my order from Hobby, I got more of this purple yarn. Uh, we love yarn. Uh, Mega Ball. It's a classic acrylic. It's a hundred percent acrylic. You get four hundred grams or fourteen point one ounce. Oops. 
This is one of the purples I'm using in my blanket. I didn't want to take the chance of running out, so I ordered three, but I will probably have enough to do another blanket. Maybe one of my ripple, favorite ripple ones in the solid color. And I got three of those. Very nice yarn to work with. And then we didn't get too many anniversary cakes in our store, but we were able to purchase a couple of colors online. So I got this pretty color. Nice burgundies and pinks. And this colorway is, oh, they covered up the sticker on this one, Sour Cherry. And I got two of those. Our store still didn't get any more cakes in. Although I keep stocking Michaels to see I have two Michaels near me, one in the city where I live and one in Niagara Falls. So I go to them at least once a week to see. I hear we're supposed to be getting new tea cake colors and a few other different cake yarns. So I'm looking forward to when they get those in. And my other shopping. Oh yeah, this is, I did get this today at Michael's. And I also picked up red. I think it's called red, bright red. This is 354 yards, seven ounces or 198 grams. It recommends a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So yeah, very pretty color. So I got those. And I bought the red and the ice blue because I found some more uh, Beanie Babies at my local Michael. I got two more Groots. Eventually I'm going to get started on listing these on Etsy. And I found the cute Spider-Man. So that's why I bought the red. And look at this, I found one. The cute Dumbo. How cute are those ears? Very cute. So I got the ice blue to match this guy. So I thought that was a good fit. I'll probably just do it all on the lovey all in that color. But yeah, they're very soft. And I also got some Seen Tell Halloween's coming upon us shortly. I got some cute skulls to get around to making more stitch markers. And who could resist these cute little bunnies? And I also got some of the jump rings. So that was it for Michael's. busy with those this coming week. And then I was also at, I like going to Winners, Marshalls, and Home Sense up here. That's where I get my cute towels mostly. And I found these cute little, what are these called? Uh, mini oven mitts. Because you know Snoopy. And then I also found some more towels. I found this little guy. Thought he was cute. It says me watching the drama unfold. And you got two of those towels. And then of course I couldn't resist for my Snoopy collection. That one and that one. So 
yeah, that's all my shopping and everything. Oh, I lied. I did get some mill and a giant tiger. I found this color here. I believe it looks like a red heart. I'm not sure the colorway. But I thought, I think it might be one of the purples I'm using in my granny square blanket. So I thought that was pretty. These were $8.97, I think. And then I found this pretty blue. I thought he would go good with Spider-Man. I'm assuming that's Red Heart again. And they also had the purple ombre. So I got that too. This is a Super Pound. 454 gram minimum weight unknown fibers, but I assume it's 100% acrylic. And it's a value pack, and it says it's good for sweater scarves, afghans, mittens, slippers, booties, etc. But I'll probably put this in my granny square blanket if I need more. So, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching my video, liking, and sharing, and commenting as well. Uh, thanks everybody for joining me for a weekly visit up here in Canada. It is Thanksgiving weekend. So uh, we celebrate that on Monday So happy Thanksgiving everybody and Until the next video. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll talk real soon. Thanks. Bye